Graphic body camera video from Glynn County Police arriving to the scene after Ahmad Arbery was killed. Greg McMichael, one of the men charged in Arbery's death, describes the moment he first saw Arbery run past his home. I run in the house. I said, Travis, the same guy that broke in the house down there. And who's Travis? My son. Got a shot. Okay. I said, come on, let's go. McMichael says he grabbed his gun. Travis McMichael grabbed his shotgun, chasing Arbery for several minutes when their neighbor, William Roddy Bryan, joins. Bryan, who recorded the shooting when it happens, has publicly maintained he was just a witness. But that day, he told police he got involved in the chase. I hollered at them. I said, y'all got him? They got down to the end down there somewhere. I must have passed him because I pulled out of my driveway. I was going to try to block him. Brian questioned if they should have chased him in the first place. A new clip of the video Brian shot, also released today, shows Brian trying to stop Arbery before the deadly confrontation. We run out to stop him to talk to him. Mm -hmm. He took off running. He came out of the truck. Stop. He came out of the truck running at us. I told him stop, stop, stop till he hit me. I had nothing to do. I couldn't. There's nothing else I can do. Attorneys for the father and son say they acted in self-defense, but family believes Arbery was killed for jogging while black, and they think the McMichael's law enforcement connections delayed justice. I do know, Greg. Hey, uh, what, uh, I knew I would take him down. Yeah, he's going to be interviewed. Yeah. Okay. Y'all don't put him in cuffs, are you? No, 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 no. Why would you be in cuffs? Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side.